Hello and welcome to March West Junction Term Day. Today is something a little different to what I normally do in my videos. I thought I'd show you what got me into the hobby uh, when I was young and uh, what I've been doing to get my memories back uh, with this Airfix adventure set. So uh, grab yourself a drink and uh, Hopefully you enjoy. Okay then, so uh, like I said in the introduction, this is uh, an, an Airfix adventure set. Now, recently I had an interview with uh, Hornby and uh, one of the questions that they uh, asked me was what got me into the hobby. Now, uh, what got in me into the hobby was my dad. When I was younger, back in 1977, I was uh, six years old. And on Christmas Day, this is what I opened. Now, what you got in front of you is uh, a Dr. X adventure train set now when i was younger james bond was like one of the uh main films that everyone wanted to go and see and uh, this is like a spin-off type of thing that uh, airfix did so uh, what they did they brought out adventure train sets to try and encourage us younger kids to uh look at model railways and i thought it was absolutely an excellent idea and as you can see from the box it shows you what you get you get like a tunnel and level crossing and then there's a little bit of cartoon captions here with a radar scanner shows a level crossing with a breakdown truck shows a missile and the lab and the dr x there holds the world to ransom so uh, what i'll do now is uh, let's get the lid off uh, and have a look what's inside. Okay, so what you get inside uh, to start off with is a nice catalog. Now this, like I say, was 1977. Now this is the original set I had because as you can imagine, as a six-year-old, me and my brother, we smashed it to bits. So what I've been doing uh, since, uh, well, just before my dad passed away, uh, I started collecting all the parts to recreate the set in the most mint form I could find. And uh, this is what we have here. So uh, this is the uh, catalog, like I say. It was published in 1977. Look at the price. 10 pence and uh, it shows you what they were doing at that time you'll recognize some of the kits because now they're in the uh, daypole range or dapol range that's another adventure set set they did they did a wild west train and i know they did a wild west set which i managed to purchase which i'll show you uh, at the end or may in fact i'll show you in another video because you'll probably go on too long and these were the different rail system sets they did. Class 31 with uh, Mark II coaches, with wagons. And there's the Dr. X set in the middle, which is what I've got in front of you now. And there's the Wild West set, which I'll show you in another video that I managed to pick up for 60 quid and it's in mint condition. But I'd never had this set, but while I was looking for bits for the for the actual Dr. X set, I come across this and I bought it for 60 quid, which was a steal. So that's the catalogue. <clears throat> you get this, which shows you the track that they were doing at the time. So it's got like your little track plans and what track they did for the railway. So there's different uh, plans there. Right then, so this is what comes with the set. Now, like I say, it was like all James Bond when I was a kid. So this was the actual uh, comic that you got with it. It's only a one-page comic because inside shows you how to put the set together. 
So it's basically, you've got a tunnel with a lab in it and there's a little radar that pops up that you can lift up manually. And uh, it's supposed to be sensing the train coming. When the train comes, the breakdown truck breaks down on the, the track allegedly. Then uh, a truck pulls up by the side of the nuclear missile wagon and it automatically goes into the wagon. It rolls in automatically. The side is open on both as they touch each other and then uh, transfers into there. Then they take it to the lab and in the lab, it all opens up the side of the mountain, which is part of the tunnel. And uh, there's a missile launcher and you can actually launch the missile as well. And uh, that's how the story unfolds. Inside, as you open up, it shows you how to set it all up. So there's the lab with the missile launcher, level crossing. That's what you get in there. These are the trains you get in there. Mark II coach, class 31, little wagon there. And obviously the car transport, which got the trailer on, which you've got the missile in. Shows you how to lay it out, how to fix your track to the board. The controller that come with it was a battery controller, which is there. There's the power clips. Shows you the coupling system. Now pay attention to the coupling system. Look at those. Do they look familiar? Similar to the later couplings that Batman and Hornby do now. But in their day, these were a big failure. Now these do push in. They're not like... Uh, they're pushing similar, but they're a different type of fitting. They're not any any M. But they uh, were close coupled and they were narrow couplings. There it shows you how the tunnel set up. There's a little bit of muddy track that you, uh, roadway, dirt track that you put to the side of the track where the uh, load transforms into uh, from the from the wagon to the lorry. And there it shows you put it into the cradle and the cradle goes into the missile launcher, which actually launches it. Now you imagine as a six year old, the hours and hours of fun that me and my brother had with this was absolutely phenomenal absolutely phenomenal just think if we started doing stuff like this now i know hornby did a, a space one but uh this was just at the time cutting edge it was brilliant absolutely brilliant so i'll show you what you get actually in the uh the contents in the box next okay the first item out the box is the controller now it's uh, battery operated, the batteries fit in the back and as you can see this has never been used. It's uh, mint, the wires have never been attached, it's still folded up nice and neat. So uh, hunting round I managed to get one of these in mint condition. I mean we had a Hornby controller in the end because we got fed up of buying batteries. And uh, the control system's a bit basic, it just goes half speed or full speed. And obviously that's in reverse or in that other direction. So it's very basic controller, but uh, it did the job for what was needed. And uh, to get started straight away with no power mains and that, you could take it in your garage and do it if you've got no power supply. And that was the actual uh, coding for it. So that's at the top of the box. At the bottom of the box, I'll just show you. We've got the track. Now it was just an oval of track with some straights. And again, this is all brand new. It's never been used. So it's similar to the Hornby sort of track. And there should be a power control uh, connector in there somewhere. It's somewhere. Uh, can't see it at the moment. Maybe I've lost it. But there was a, a power connector in there that was separate. Uh, no, it's not in here, unless I've left it in the other box with the controller. Yeah, I must have done. Like, say you get some, I think that's first radius curves, because in them days, everything was like first radius to start off with. So tight curves. But they, uh, like I say, these have never been out the box on a track uh, laid out. Uh, and the parts is there a code on there no it just says track on that because i don't think they sold these separately all right then moving on to the rolling stock and uh this is what you got 
Class 31 in BR Blue, number 31401. Now these, there's a dummy wheel in the middle, but in their day, these were the strongest pulling loco uh, in double O gauge. They were fantastic pullers. The weight they could pull, it's quite heavy as well. And uh, the code for that is just there. And these, like I say, what they did with these sets, the reason everything's individually boxed, because the shots, when they couldn't sell them at Christmas, if there was any stock left over, they'd take them out of the main box, chuck that away, and sell the locos and rolling stock separate. That was the idea of it. Then you've got just this uh, basic wagon. It's a 12 ton ventilated box wagon. There's the code for that. It's a nice little wagon. As you can see the coupling system and then this was the low loader that's the code for that if anyone's after one and uh, basically this would pull up next to the train and the clip would catch the train and that would open and you, the uh, missile uh, on the lorry would uh, drop straight into it so the two lights made a sort of connection and this would open and you'd drop into the actual lorry that you get in the pack I'll show you in a bit and then you got this uh, first class Mark II D coach in BR livery and there you go again there's the code for that so nice uh, nice coach and very well detailed in its day and then the main box here is the best bit of all. I'll just tip it out. And get it all out. Right then, so there was some spare couplings. Like I say, that was the coupling system in there. This tunnel used to clip together. So you got two tunnel ends this was the door with the miss uh, the sorry the radar on it that used to lift up used to push it up in the air and show the radar turning and that used to open on the side of the building that's a piece of infill card you've got a level crossing now the level crossing is quite good uh, it's even got uh, like clear lenses in the actual lights so you could fit LEDs to these so uh, it's quite a nice little level crossing uh, and these are the walls of the tunnel that's the roof so you've got two sides of roof and the ends this was the dirt track that you put next to uh, the railway and the actual truck here would come along articulated truck come along and it catches the side of the wagon and the missiles transfers through this was the uh, breakdown truck you got and there's the missile with its missile launcher and carrier so it's quite uh i've, I've put them all in separate bags so they don't all get damaged chipping each other and it's like a little rubber ended missile which is quite nice and then you got the figures now these are the figures now these are the commando figures here uh from the airfix range and there's dr x himself that little chubby guy and that's sealed in the bag as new you see made in hong kong brand new but I'm, when i was collecting i managed to pick some of the figures up loose off the sprue so you can see dr x there there's three commandos kneeling and three commandos standing with machine guns and they've got uh, automatic rifles and that's it that's what basically you get in the set for uh, for this sort of adventure train set and as you can see from that picture that's how it works out so this opens up your missile fits onto there in the carrier and you flick that switch and it launches the missile there's the level crossing which allegedly stops the train and uh, away you go the hours and hours of fun you know and it's a pity uh, this wasn't uh, carried on like i say they did two sets uh, the other set i'll just quickly show you but i won't go into detail today was uh, this one 
which uh, I'm sure Anthony Dodge will be interested in. Wall West Adventure Train Set with bank robbers. So uh, that'll be something in a future video I'll show you. Okay, so that brings me to the end of this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, I've had hours of fun playing with this when I was a kid. And uh, like I say, I've, over the years I've been collecting and collecting and collecting and buying and selling bits and bobs that I can get hold of until I've got this sort of set. The next thing I want to do is actually get a better box. I mean, the box for the World West set is really good, but this one's uh, a bit shelf worn from over the years. And as you can see, it's got a bit of damage there and that's, and it's showing its age. But then again, uh, it is, what, 45 years old. So I think it's done quite well for 45 years. So hopefully I'll be able to get hold of a better box in the future. So thank you for stopping by and taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, please hit the like button and uh, share with your friends if you think they'll be interested. Like I say, it's a different video to what I normally do. Because I got asked by Ormby at the Wally Show uh, about what got me in the railway, what got me interested. Uh, it was one of the questions and this is what got me into it. It's my first train set uh, in 1977. So uh, it's nice to see what uh, you can get over the years. It's nice to get it all back to its uh, original condition. And uh, hopefully in the future, someone will have fun out of this train set. I know my kids uh, are growing up and not interested. But you never know, grandkids come along. I've got one granddaughter, maybe she'll be interested in the future. So, like I say, thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified of my next videos. And like I say, hit the like button and share. And please comment below and let me know what your first train set was as well. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what other people got. When I've discussed this at the uh, Wally Model Railway Club, no one's ever heard of the Dr. X train set. So whether it's because I'm a different generation, I don't know. But uh, maybe you'll have something that I don't know, you know, of the train sets you'd be interested to find out. So please comment below and let me know what uh, your first train set was, just out of interest. And of course I'm nosy. So thanks again. I'll see you again soon. And like I say, I'll show a video in the future of the Wild West set that I bought for 60 quid. Bye for now.